I'm Melissa Sardelli, and here's a look at the stories trending on WPRI.com today, Thursday, January 19th, 2012. More controversy for the 16-year-old Cranston girl at the middle of a school prayer banner battle. A Wisconsin-based group called the Freedom From Religion Foundation wanted to send Jessica Alquist a dozen roses, all to recognize the atheist fight to remove the decades-old prayer banner from Cranston West. But at least three local florists refused to deliver flowers to Alquist. In the meantime, the foundation plans to file a human rights complaint against the other stores. Eyewitness News has learned a florist in Putnam, Connecticut will be delivering the roses. From the South County Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News is in South Kingston, where a gas station employee was shaken up after an armed robbery. It happened at Potter's Service Station in Wakefield Tuesday night. The worker was closing up for the night when two men forced him to his knees at gunpoint. He handed over $250, but says the robbers wanted more. They tried getting me to like break, break into the safe. I don't know the code. They, you know, tried threatening me with the knife and the gun and all that, but. I just told them, you know, like, you're not going to get it. We're told the robbers took off on foot. There's no surveillance video of the incident, but South Kingston police say if you know anything about the robbery, to give them a call. Schools in West Warwick will be closed tomorrow after the death of the vice chairman of the school committee. Bruce Vaness passed away Monday after a short illness. Vaness was a basketball coach and baseball and football coach at the high school. Calling hours were this afternoon at the Ionetti Funeral Home in Coventry. His funeral mass will take place tomorrow morning at Christ the King Church in West Warwick. And for all of your up-to-the-minute online news and weather, stay with WPRI.com. Thanks for watching.